booktube. I'm here with the booktube about me tag. As always, I never know who starts these things, but I'll find out and link their original video in the description down below. So let's just get right into these questions. Question one, what do you study slash what is your job? Well, I've been out of school for five, six, six or seven years. Um, but uh, I have been to college and university three times. Um, so I have my BA in Specialized Honors English and a minor in History. I have a Bachelor of Education to teach high school English, English History and Special Education. And I'm currently working as a personal support worker which required a nine month course. Um, the reason I'm working as a PSW right now, I'm still looking for a teaching job but uh, it's difficult within the area that I'm looking to find a job. Um, so I decided to take this course because the company I work for now was willing to pay me to go to school and pay for all the courses and everything. So I figured someone's going to pay me to go to school and may as well do it, right? Um, and so I do this now um, in the evenings to pay the bills while I look for a teaching job. Um, if you don't know what a personal support worker is, it's basically um, home health care. Uh, we're kind of like one step below a nurse. Um, we just go in and make sure people are healthy and comfortable and clean, that they have something to eat, um, those kind of things. Uh, so, the second question, what is your favorite social media channel? Um, and I consider Reddit a social media site, um, and I'd say that's my favorite. I spend a lot of time on Reddit. Um, I have been on Reddit for... Ooh, I think a year after it started. So I've been on there for a long time. I've seen all the different changes and stuff like that. Um, I don't really contribute. I just kind of upvote and downvote and sometimes I'll comment. But I do still enjoy seeing, you know, all the funny pictures and stuff on there. And um, hearing about different views on the news and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd say Reddit is my favorite social media site. Um, if you had to start another channel, what would it be about? I do have another channel, even though I only have one video on there, and I'm not really as invested in it as I am in the booktube channel. It's called Courtney Creates. It's um, I want to kind of do um, crafting and cooking on that channel. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Um, if I if I did have another channel, I think it would just be like a general vlogging slash ranting channel to kind of get like ideas out there kind of thing. Um, I'll link my Courtney Creates channel in the description bar below. Question number four, do you play any instruments? I used to, I don't anymore. I used to take piano lessons, I played trumpet and band, I was part of the bell choir. Um, that was really fun. I'd like to do that again. Um, but, uh, aside from all that, I don't play anymore, unfortunately. Uh, question five. What hobbies do you have other than reading? Well, where most of my free money goes, my spare change goes, is towards crafting. Um, so I spend a lot of my free time crafting. Um, I specifically work on a lot of, uh, smash books. Um... I think I have one right here behind me. Let me see if I can grab one. So this is, I haven't started this one yet, but this is a, a general idea of a smash book. Um, and there's different pages in there and then you can do whatever you want. I kind of do like a art journal type thing on them. Yeah. Um, what else do I like to knit? Uh, come spring and, and summer, when the snow is melted and the ground's not frozen, I love to garden. Um, and by gardening, I don't mean like growing fruits and vegetables. I tried growing tomatoes last year, but they just <laughs> totally didn't work. Um, I just like pretty flowers and plants and all that stuff. Um, and I like picking flowers in the summer. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I also love... Um, educational magazines and reading those. Uh, so um, like Mental Floss, ID, 
um, Psychology Today, um, some professional magazines I'm subscribed to, like Professionally Speaking, the U of T and York U um, magazines and stuff like that. Um, I love reading those. Um, Canadian History, that's another one. Um, I also love writing. Um, I love my NES systems. I don't know if you can see them in this shot, but they are here, and I am always on my DS. Um, I love Nintendo. And I also like cooking and kind of making up my own recipes and, and such. So that's what I like to do aside from reading. Um, question number six, favorite TV shows. Well, where do I begin? Um, I'd say my, I'll tell you my top three TV shows. They're Stargate Atlantis, Doctor Who, and Murdoch Mysteries. Um, those are my all-time favorite TV shows. Um, I love... I call them epic shows about, like, say they're either, like, the historical, or they're science fiction, or the fantasy, or maybe a combination of all of those, um, that have, like, good production value and everything, um, and not necessarily that stick to tr the true history, but that, you know, make it fun. Um, <clears throat> right now I'm currently watching Vikings, um, Rain, Bob's Burgers, Supernatural, and again, Murdoch Mystery, Stargate Atlantis, um, yeah. Um, I also like Game of Thrones, Star Trek, Black Books, Friends, Buffy, Red Dwarf, Daria, Firefly, Downton Abbey is really good, and Orphan Black, which just started up again, actually, so I have to catch up. And I could go on and on about TV shows that I'm watching. I really love uh, TV. <laughs> Question 7. What got you into reading? Um, I guess my mom... I've always been into reading. I can't remember a time where I didn't read. Um, so I've always kind of like, it's always just been something I've done. Um, and my mom didn't read for me for, read to me for so long because I was a very stubborn uh, and determined child and I'd said, no, I want to read the books. It's my turn. <laughs> um, so I eventually started reading them by myself. I say she said I was around two when I picked up um, Red fish, blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Yes. Um, yeah, so I've been a voracious reader and determined to do it by myself ever since. Um, um, I'd say in terms of inspiration, my high school and university professors um, had the biggest impact on what I, what I really started liking um, and developing my own taste around. Um, so yeah, that's what got me into reading what I read now, if that makes sense. Okay, question eight. Um, what are your favorite and least favorite genres? Um, aside from science fiction, I'd say my favorite genre is kind of well-executed experimental literature. Um, experimental literature can go wrong in so many ways. Um, but it can also go really right. Um, so here I'm talking about like books like House of Leaves and Infinite Jest and all this stuff. I really, really enjoy the experience that those books bring because it's more than just reading and kind of going with the flow. It's an actual experience. You know, you're actually engaging with the physical book itself. Um, so I really, really like that. Um, my least favorite is kind of very specific. Um, it's female written... Regency era comedy of manners. I'm thinking Jane Eyre, um, Pride and Prejudice, North and South, um, all those kind of books that are kind of the same thing over and over and over again. I just, oh, I've had enough of them. There's so many, I'm not, I, I'm not picking on female writers of the Regency era because believe me, I, I love, um, I love, um, Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. I love Frankenstein. Um, I think they demonstrated that there is more that women can write about aside from marriage and, you know, being a proper lady and all this stuff. So, yes. Um, question number nine. What books define your childhood? Um, books that I specifically remember from when I was younger are obviously Dr. Seuss. Um, I hope every kid grows up with Dr. Seuss. He's wonderful. 
Um, and then books like Little House on the Prairie, uh, Anne of Green Gables, The Boxcar Children. I remember my teacher reading that to us on a really hot day. Um, we, we were lying down with our eyes closed and she was reading it to us and I was like, this is perfect! This is, like, I'd rather do this than go out and do recess. Um, and that's when I knew I was a bookworm. Um, The Babysitter's Club, uh, Narnia, um, The Secret Garden, The Little Princess, Black Beauty, Heidi, all those sorts of, you know, the YA that I grew up at. We didn't really have a YA type, you know, that we have now. Um, it was kind of all these classics in, in middle school um, mixtures type stuff. Um, question 10. Tell us an interesting fact about you. Um, so I was trying to think of an interesting non-book related fact and it's really hard to come up with one. Um, I already said I love gardening, I love plants. I collect mugs. I am going to show you my mug collection. Um, I'm looking at it right now, it's on the other side. So let me take you to the mugs. So this is my mug collection. It's kind of mixed in with um, some superhero stuff and some plants here. And I don't know if you if you can see the turtles. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have some really cool mugs. This one is has um, Shakespearean insults on it. I don't know if you can see that. Shakespearean insults. This one just says think. I really like that and it looks kind of like it's all bumpy. <clears throat> um, I think this one's really cute. It has monsters on it. And then there's a monster inside there. And I'll just show you one more. And it will be this one. This is a hollow dolly. Ha ha ha. So yeah, that's my my mug collection there.